6.8 is a consideration of grant funding in the amount of $25,000 to support one team, one dream by sponsoring Hands Up Lake County Small Business Competition 2022. And here, um, this was brought by Supervisor Sabatier and myself. And uh, here to present on behalf of it is Olga Martin Steele and, uh, and Monica, Monica, Rosenthal. Monica Rosenthal. Yeah. So. Uh, good morning. Thank you for uh, entertaining this request this morning. Um, I, I want to start by thanking a few people in the room that have attended our small business competition, so you know a little bit about it. Um, it, uh, it started during the pandemic. We didn't think we could pull it off, and frankly, if it hadn't been for some of the support that we got from the county with our technical needs, because we did it virtually, uh, it wouldn't happen. So I, I do want to uh, thank um, uh, Carol Hutchinson, who actually gave remarks, um, again, virtually. Um, E.J. Crandall, who also gave remarks virtually. Uh, Sam Houston, who's in the room, without whose technical support we never, ever would have pulled that off. And Supervisor Tina Scott, um, thank you for being there both years now to help with the background. Just, she's in the background, making, thing, making sure things work technically. <laughs> so big thanks to the county for that. And Supervisor Bruno. And, oh, and well, he was there last year. So last year, Supervisor Sabatier attended last year. Uh, first year for you, right? So some of you know what we're about and what we do. Um, again, I'm the chair of One Team One Dream. It is a nonprofit. Our signature project is the Hands Up uh, Small Business Competition for Lake County. Monica Rosenthal is on our board. She's our latest board member. She's a businesswoman. Um, we also have uh, Helena Welsh, who is now the president of the uh, Clear Lake Chamber of Commerce. She's on yes, Zoom. Lakeport. Lakeport, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, Helena. Lakeport Chamber of Commerce. She's also with uh, the uh, wine industry. And uh, Lisa Morrow, who is with Lake Family Resources, is also on our board as treasurer. And last but not least, our founder, Marianne Schmidt. You heard... TID talk about the Lodge of Blue Lakes. Uh, if you know what happened there, she took that place from a very rundown uh, state of disrepair. Like if you've been here around a while, you know what that looked like. They took that several years of a lot of hard labor and built it up to what it is now. And now it's being featured, you know, as a Lake County uh, happening kind of place. Well, she's our founder. I'm co-founder, and I just, um, want, before I, I got a little spiel, but there is one thing I'd like to do, and that is introduce and ask Valerie Stallings. She's our second place winner last year. She has a business called Send Rover On Over, and we want to bring her on over to just say a couple words to you about the value of this program to her. Good morning, everybody. I didn't plan on speaking here today, but I am in support of the One Dream, uh, One Team, One Dream organization. So, um, so <laughs> just for Olga, I'm going to say a few words. I'm the owner and founder of Send Rover on Over Doggy Daycare Boarding and Training Center and now grooming facility here in Lake County, thanks to One Team, One Dream. My job basically is to provide a better community for people and their pets. Um, just, uh, we moved up here to beautiful Lake County in 2017, and I had a doggy daycare in Ventura for almost 20 years. I wanted this to be a little bit of a retirement job, but that didn't happen. Apparently, there's an important need for people and their pets in this community, and my business took off. In the pandemic, I did slow down a little bit, and as we were coming out of the pandemic, I was receiving a lot of calls for grooming services. This is not anything I wanted to do here because I wanted to retire, but there was a need for the community, for people and their pets, as well as um, my clients. So simultaneously, the One Team, One Dream organization contest came to light, and I thought, well, I don't have the funds to open a grooming shop and train people, but if I participate and possibly win this competition, then I could afford to open a grooming shop and train some people to do so. So that is what I did. 
I um, participated in the competition. I'm in full support of these people, these women, and they um, believe in bettering the businesses in Lake County, supporting them and seeing them grow and thrive and survive. So I learned a lot participating. It was a wonderful adventure. I met new people and friends and enhanced some other friendships. And through that, I was able to, I won second place, which was an amount of $12,000. And uh, my husband built a grooming trailer for me and we have it on site. And, uh, and every day we offer grooming services or bathing dogs um, to the community and my clients. And, uh, and most importantly, I've been able to provide jobs and income for people here in Lake County. And did I cover you everything? It. And yeah. does anybody have any questions? Where are you located? So I am in Lakeport. I'm on the corner of Reeves and Soda Bay. We've been there since 2018. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. She has to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we may, um, I'm sure we do have uh, some of our finalists um, on Zoom. Um, hopefully they're there. Um, but I, I just, I want to, you have two handouts that I gave you. One is the handout of our finalists. So you can see who they are, their businesses, and um, you just met Valerie here. Okay, um, but I want to just uh, take you back just a little bit about how this all came about. Um, we were inspired by fire. You will all remember, probably painfully, the Mendocino Complex fire. For me, living on the North Shore at the time, Marianne Schmid had a business on the North Shore, literally watching flames come towards our uh, businesses and our homes, uh, it made a huge impact. Anybody that's been through that, and some of you lost homes, you know what that's like. We didn't really know what we wanted to do except that we wanted to raise money to support our communities. That was kind of the basic bottom line. Uh, Marianne had this idea, um, she liked watching Shark Tank. She loved watching Shark Tank. Along comes something called Startup Mendocino, which I attended. It's very similar to what we do, not exact. I attended that, and um, we had these kind of two ideas together. We sat over coffee at Angelina's, and we said, we're gonna do a small business competition. Um, she had some seed money, that's how we got started. She used that seed money to uh, parlay into um, bigger donations. And the first year we raised, um, well, we raised enough to run the event, plus have a little over 28,000 to give away in awards. So um, I, you have also a brochure. If you open that up, it's got the process that we take businesses through. Um, I'm gonna ask Monica to talk about beyond the money, because this isn't just about money. This isn't a loan that we give these businesses that compete, um, it's, it's cash. It's cash to put into to grow their businesses. That's what it's for, but it's more than that. Um, we do take them through a one day training. One of the things we learned early on is that developing a business plan with you know, three to five year financials, not a big strength amongst a lot of the people that, um, that participated. Um, but we've gone from 37 applicants the first year to 50 the second year. We don't know what the results are this year. Um, we're open for um, accepting applications until June 30. Uh, we'll know. So that's a lot of small, these are all small businesses. There may be one or two entrepreneurs that are thinking about starting, but most of them are actual businesses. There's a lot more where they came from. So we're doing this one small business at a time. We think we're making a difference. Um, the Lambs who won first place the first year, they came back the second year, great spokes uh, people. Um, they are making a profit. They're doing really, really well. Part of it is the marketing, the advertising that we do, um, the follow-up that we do, and we have plans for more follow-up. But I'll stop there and I'll ask Monica to tell you a little bit about um, besides the money, what do people get out of this? Besides the money, yes. Um, 
what they get, and, and one of the reasons why I joined this organization on the board and got behind the vision of, uh, of both Marianne and Olga is because this is, is uh, building one business at a time. Um, it, it, well, actually, it's not just one, it's several. Uh, as Valerie just spoke to you about uh, her success and what one of the things that she didn't mention, um, however, she did say that she met a lot of nice people um, in the process, but she also was open to a lot of good networking. So networking among the other competitors that are, are part of the competition, but also then even beyond that. Um, it just gave her the, the jump start into th that exposure into Lake County. Um, in, you know, it's a lot of times it's about who you know and stuff, and so you start that circle and start expanding it, and that's one of the things that this program brings. But what it also does is it's um, building a good, strong foundation under each and every business. You know, we know so many businesses that, you know, uh, other people in the neighborhood will encourage people, your friends, your family will encourage you to start a business because you sew well, or because you bake well, or, you know, because you, you are a great artist. But, but many of us are not good at every aspect of our business. And that's what this business plan, or One Team, One Dream, in its process takes each business through all the various different elements so that, so that the business owner understands their, their own personal strengths and weaknesses, where they need help, and or what else they need to focus on. And again, as Olga just had mentioned, we found that a lot of our businesses don't pay much attention to that financial piece, which is very important. So to get you past that first year and into the second, you know, past that novel time. And um, so anyway, so that's what this business or this uh, one team, one dream is all about, is building the business from the ground up, building that strong foundation underneath the business and, and supplying that, that family, that community of networking. And then also getting them, getting each business to think about, which is again, what inspired this program is the fire. You know, how do we all pivot and change? in moments of crisis, what can we do to ensure that our business not only survives today, but can weather those storms that are thrown at us? So anyway, so that's why I believe in One Team, One Dream, and I hope that you do too. And uh, it's been successful so far, and we want to keep it going, and we would appreciate your support. Thank you. So I just, um, obviously, we want to receive your questions. Um, but uh, I do want to say that when I attended the Startup Mendocino business competition, I was struck by something that you all, or some of you, you were there at, um, at uh, Dr. Eiler's report to the county uh, about a you know, strategic plan for the economy. And... Um, there was quite a, bit of, quite a bit of discussion about working together, not just the cities and the county, there was a lot of discussion about that, um, but working together with all the service organizations, all the nonprofits, how we can all come together towards an end that you know, meets the needs of um, the economic resiliency of this, of this county. What I saw at Startup Mendocino that really impressed me was, and they only did it one year, and I don't know why they haven't continued it, but it was very impressive to see the county, the cities, the financial institutions, the uh, businesses come together, donate the money to make that program happen. And that was really the, the, the thing that, that um, um, really spoke to me. I am an old government worker. I worked for government almost all my life, but I started in retail working at a little department <laughs> store, and, and that stuck with me, I guess, because I love to see our businesses um, not just open. I mean, we talked about all the uh, visitors that we're going to have, this pitch to do tourism. We've got to have services for them when they get here. So all this energy out there they don't need loans. They probably are, you know, up to here in loans. They need um, our support, both in terms of grants that we can give them, but also in terms of the um, other things that we give them that Monica mentioned. So uh, one of the first, we, we had some ideas about where to raise money. Obviously, we raised it the first year. 
But then we went to the city at Clear Lake. And um, again, there was some leveraging and maneuvering, but they jumped right on board. And last year became a $25,000 sponsor. And um, we have, uh, of course, the city of um, Lakeport is also on board. So, and we have financial institutions. There are actually a list of sponsors on that little brochure that I gave you. It may not be 100% up to date, um, but you can see who all the sponsors are, tribal health, um, um, oh, foods, etc. cetera. I, I, I gotta say this. So Dennis Darling um, talked about shopping local. And so one of the things that we think we offer is this idea of making shopping local a reality by supporting the rural businesses, the, the, the businesses that really do make up the framework of our small business economy here. Um, so yeah, we're building them one business at a time. We also want to bring life to shop local and we do want to support um, the economic aspects of the tourism that obviously help our economy. So with that, we'll take questions. I want to say a couple more things. Sure, go I want ahead. To give, I want to give a shout out to a couple of our businesses. Uh, Reach, Reese Ranch, um, that there's a video online now um, that through One Team, One Dream, taking, taking that outdoor adventure kind of flows right nicely into the tourism presentation that you just heard earlier this morning, uh, where she's taking that outdoor tent camping, um, bringing it to people's backyard. Um, so another one who didn't make it in our uh, top uh, list of, of competitors, but nonetheless uh, very successfully uh, at this point in time has opened a business in Lucerne, Grilligan's Island. Oh, Island. So if you um, haven't been there, you need to go. So because they're serving some really awesome food, some grape tomato soup, and that's a, uh, a real example of, of uh, somebody going out wanting to start a new business, not actually having all the pieces together and stuff where one team, one dream help bring that together for them and refine their name and their logo. Um, and uh, yeah, and then they're kicking it now in Lucerne. So and the other is uh, Bottle Rock Candle, um, she, second time. Se she won, uh, yeah, second time she won a finalist. Yeah. So, but anyway, but but she's she's uh, working on a product that is distributed now candles, um, and with a variety of uh, just uh, displays and aromas, but within uh, Lake County and also taking it outside of Lake County. So again, getting that Lake County name out into the other areas and um, bringing it back home. So um, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> No, I thank you for mentioning Grilligan's because they have a wonderful grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, they man, I, have. Yeah. Who doesn't love grilled cheese? <laughs> Every possible way you could imagine, <laughs> they're doing it. And ask them about their story. So, oh, yeah. it's incredible. Um, it, it was um, uh, Supervisor Simon. You mentioned the stories and how important the stories are. Um, one of the things that takes our judges sometimes. Uh, in deciding who they're going to choose from, you know, a wealth of really well-presented businesses is the stories, kind of where they came from, you know, how they got to where they ended up. And, the, um, yeah, I always have a tear in my eye after I, I hear the mm -hmm. stories. So, yeah, we'll answer any questions you have. Supervisor Zabati. Uh, so, I don't have any questions. I, I attended the last event, um, was very inspired by what was going on, already Thank knew you. that Lamb Printing had received first place the previous year, uh, and they mentioned that they more than doubled uh, their workload, which included increasing their workforce. Mm -hmm. And having a conversation with Lake EDC, the number one way to create jobs is business expansion. It's not new businesses, it's business expansion. And this helps businesses streamline what may not be going well into doing better, as that was explained with kind of streamlining their business plan, streamlining their marketing by looking at their logo and, and things like that. Uh, and I just think that at this moment in time, 
why look at recreating something when somebody in our community is already working to provide that assistance to current businesses to move forward, expand, hire more people, uh, create greater uh, revenue, which in turn creates greater tax revenue for the counties. Um, and seeing that both Lakeport and the city of Clear Lake were both donors to help support this process and that we were not there. Uh, I immediately spoke with Supervisor Crandall and said we need to have a conversation uh, with One Team One Dream and we need to bring this to the board. I, I don't know that we would do better than what One Team One Dream is doing because you touch, as you said, 50 applicants. It's not like you touch only the ones that are in the finals. Mm -hmm. Every one of those people gets some sort so, something in return from going through the process, whether that's marketing and advertising or whether that's better understanding of business and how to be successful. Um, and so at this moment in time, I, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it as that. I think it's an important, the timing mm -hmm. was incredibly important, um, but I think overall, we just talked about putting the country back in wine country uh, and, and Supervisor Scott saying, we don't wanna be the others uh, around us. Supporting our local businesses is the backbone of a country economy, and I think that this is happening already. Let's support it as it's happening. Um, so I'd be happy to do that. And we're all volunteers. We take no money for what we do, by the way. <laughs> we haven't hired an executive director or anything like that. We pay some consultants but to help us do some aspects of it. But we're all, we're all volunteers. Yeah, so I've known a lot of people that have gone through the process and they've learned a lot. There's, um, you know, technical skills aren't, don't come naturally to a lot of people, so I definitely see the value. It's just my question is, um, where are we pulling this funding from? We're in a, in a place right now where it's time to start tightening our belt, and so I'm wondering um, if you can... Speak to that? I can. We have some remaining funding left in our marketing budget unit, and I confirmed with our uh, DCAO that it's available for this project if the board wishes to pursue it. So how much funding is available in that account? Oh, I wasn't prepared for oh, that sorry. question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to just one, understand if, you know, what, what does $25,000 do to... The impact? Uh, probably the remaining estimate, because I don't have him right here, uh, an estimate would be the remaining amount to be approximately $140,000. Okay, so we could do this comfortably this year. Yes. Going forward, though, it might be something to consider that each of us contribute with our discretionary fund because it is important. I definitely understand the benefit, but it sounds like this is going to be an annual ask, which is great mm -hmm. to keep the program running, but I am concerned about the financial impacts of the long haul. Well, I will say that we work really hard to do fundraising, and mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we are working with a number of organizations hoping to build that positive relationship. They've donated at, you know, either the $2,500 or the $5,000 level, and we're working with them all the time to, to grow that support. And we have new people, as they learn about us, coming in. Um, yeah, it, it's real easy to, to support and be a sponsor because... At, at the $500 level, we have some uh, individuals actually now coming forward and supporting. But we, yeah, you're right. It will be an annual ask. <laughs> Stephen, I seen that you you turned your camera on. Did you want to state anything? Well, I actually wanted to back up. Um, thank you for recognizing me, Board. Um, I actually wanted to back up what <clears throat> the C interim CAO Susan said. We are. We do have about 150,000 left in that account this year. Um, the way it's listed is economic development services, but if you look at the TOT policy, this does fall into it. Um, so it's just a matter of what you want to use it in future years, whether this is part of it or not. Thank you, Stephen. Mm -hmm. And uh, Supervisor. Did I just want to add two things that I forgot to say. One, love the equity part of your event that you had last year where we had a translator up on stage so that a Latino Spanish speaking community business owner could provide their presentation, get a translation for everybody. And that is really applying this one team, one dream to anyone and everyone here in Lake County. And I really appreciated 
experiencing that and seeing that. Uh, second, we also have money set aside and we know that it'll fluctuate depending on where it is, but we do have economic development as part of one of our allocation categories for cannabis tax uh, and 25,000 is not a huge uh, number for what that might be. We know that it's going to change, uh, but there's other areas that it could come from as well. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and I'd like to rec thank you for that comment. I'd like to recognize Gilbert Rangel, Rangel who did our interpreting, and uh, Anahi uh, Silva of Party Ideas, who has a fabulous business, and I know it's growing, and I think she might be on Zoom, mm -hmm. um, so hopefully she is. Supervisor Simon? Yeah. Obviously in support of the program, thank you very much for volunteering and doing what you do. I know being on a nonprofit board is, is a challenge. You, you know, you both are very busy. Monica, you run your business. So thank you very much for putting that into the community. Um, but absolutely in support. Uh, the equity conversation is always there. When we talk about changing the future of Lake County, maybe it's some of those families that are thinking about getting into business, and maybe the first one in their family's history to do that. And so I think that's how we really work on is all together changing the history of Lake County and its future. You know, bringing those folks that may just be stepping into this arena and looking to change their, you know, their legacy and their family in those changes to bring them from low income to business owners, women, you know, minorities. And so I think it's great. So obviously completely supported. Sounds like you guys need to do a yearly event for a fundraiser like everyone else does too. Uh, you know, I know there's some, you could feature, you could have it at, you know, some of the businesses you support. So I know that's more work, uh, but I, I put it out there, you know, uh, cause you guys are up and running and I, I think it's a great program. So you're vol volunteering Twin Pines as a location. <laughs> if you guys reached out to us, we would absolutely look oh, to help any way we could with nonprofits. You know, that's one of our, our visions too, to help with that. So if that, if you guys wanted to, we reach out. That's what I, I appreciate say. that. Uh, you, you know, so every I'm time I know every we all do that <laughs> stuff. I'm throwing them out. I don't there. have any pull there anymore. <laughs> but, you know. um, yeah. So this triggers some thoughts, and and that is that of the judges. So we have two. We have a mini competition, and from that group, we select the ones that are going to go forward to the finals. Um, and so, uh, uh, let's see, the first year we had uh, Ernesto Padilla with Tribal Health on, and now they're a sponsor. Uh, we had Sherry Trepa as one of our judges. They are now a sponsor. So we also look to the community and community leaders to come and help us do the judging. Um, our board does the paper review. That's all we do, and then we, t then we turn it over to two different sets of judges that actually make the decisions. So um, we'll be looking to community leaders to ask you to join us mm -hmm. um, to help us with judging and things like that. Um, another place where um, I think um, we, we, we would be reaching out to you. Supervisor Simon? Yeah, and I just want to make a point uh, with Tribal Health. Obviously, Tribal Health is a consortium and exists uh, right. because of the six-member tribes in Lake County, so we're all part of that. We have seats on the board, so I'm glad to hear that Tribal Health is, you know, the board has stepped up and seen this as a great opportunity. So uh, just a little information for everyone that it exists because of the six tribal nations right. here uh, to serve our people and the community. So thank exactly. you. Are there any other questions or comments? If not, I'll open up to public input. Is there anybody in the room that would like to come up and say anything on behalf of this item on the agenda? And I'm not seeing anyone, so I'll look online. Uh, is there anyone online that would like to state anything? I see Helena Welsh. If you can unmute. Hi, everybody. Um, hi, Olga. Hi, Monica. Sorry I couldn't be there in person. Um, Board of Supervisors, just want to say thank you for considering our proposal. Um, we're really working hard, one business at a time, to make Lake County stronger and better than ever. This is will be our third year doing this competition. And each year as a board with these ladies, we meet and we talk about what we can do better, how we can serve our community better. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm really excited that our first prize will be $25,000. We have over, we have $85,000 to give away to these um, finalists. So we hope we can increase that more each year and get better. And we're always welcome 
um, to feedback. And we're here for all of you too. So, um, and yeah, we're volunteers, but we love what we do. And I've learned so much from everybody in this competition. And I think it's great for Lake County and um, I hope you guys can support us. Thank you so much for having us on the agenda today. Thank you. And uh, I don't see anyone else with their hands up, so I'll go ahead and bring it back, close public input, and bring it back to the board for uh, action. Mr. Chair, I move to approve the... That's the budget unit. Thank you very much. Uh, the uh, support of One Team, One Dream by sponsoring Hands Up Lake County with an amount of $25,000 from budget unit 1892, and that's from our marketing budget. Second. So I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you for, Thank for you so the presentation.